Hey guys, it's Nick and Jenny from Mission Parks and Recreation. Normally, this would be the first week of summer camp. Obviously, we cannot have summer camp this year. Um, we really miss you guys. We hope you guys are having a fun summer. Um, and just keep watching our videos. We've got some uh, fun for you guys. So what we're going to do is we are going to bring camp to you guys. So you guys can do some fun camp activities at your house. So what we're going to do every week is we're going to put out a video that includes an arts and crafts project, a science project, and then a game or an activity that you can play that's based off of our weekly theme. Uh, so this week's theme is camp kickoff. So those will all kind of fit together. But what we want to do first is how we used to start each camp day, and we're going to kick it off with our camp chant. So get your voices ready, and here we go. Hey, campers, we're so excited and miss you so much, so we're going to lead you in our camp chant to get you pumped. So here we go. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. camp kids it's nick again uh it's camp kickoff week so i'm going to kick you guys off with a arts and craft project today we are going to be making a ladybug and we've kept it pretty simple on the supplies that you're going to need uh, all you need today is a pair of scissors a glue stick or a uh, bottle of elmer's glue works totally fine too and three pieces of construction paper black white and red red orange if you're me i know it's not quite red but that's okay um your ladybug can be whatever color you want it to be. So I've prepped some of this already so you guys don't have to watch me cut a bunch. Um, the first thing I did was I cut out a circle out of my red or my red orange construction paper. So I just traced uh, a circle out of a large soup can um, and that's where I got this. This is gonna be my body uh, or my base. So then next I cut out six strips. Four of our strips are going to be for the arch. A ladybug has a round back. Um, and so this is going to make up our back. And then these two we're going to use later, but these are going to be our legs. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my base here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my glue stick ready. And so I folded about half a quarter inch, half an inch from each of these uh, ends. So I have folds. And you see how that rounds off? So I'm going to glue it down like so. So the first one I'm going to do is going to be right in the center. So let me get my glue. And since I'm using a glue stick, it's not as sticky as the Elmer's glue um, out of a bottle. So I'm going to make sure I get this nice and glued up so it stays. So then I'm going to place one right there. And then the other one right there. I'm going to press it down and get that to stay. So now I'm going to do the same thing but I'm gonna overlap. I'm gonna overlap the back of it. Again, making sure we're getting plenty of glue because we want this to stick down nice and tight. So then I'm just gonna go over the top, same thing. And so it's important that you note that these two make a cross. The first two you put on need to make a cross. All right, that's gonna be your big base right there. So then I'm gonna keep doing it. I'm gonna go over one more time like this. Again, glue on the ends. Right there. Oh, getting some glue on my fingers. Oh, well. Arts and crafts can get a little messy sometimes. So there. And again, just folding it over. I got big fingers, this is tough. Boom. Right there. And then our last one. Sorry guys, it's taking me a second. Okay, perfect. Our last one to finish off our ladybug's back is right over that next gap. And so guys, what you guys can do to do maybe a little bit different is, oh man, I don't know if I can stick my finger anywhere in there. My fingers are too big. Oh, there we go. Ah. 
Kind of. Yep. Boom. So guys, there's our ladybug back. Now what you guys can do different, if you guys don't want all the space, you guys can add more strips if you want to. I'm gonna leave it six right here for the basics. So there's our back. So the next thing I'm going to do is take these two strips and I'm gonna fold them in half. So fold it in half, and then once they're folded in half, I'm gonna cut it. So ladybugs have four legs, so these are gonna be our legs. there so now that they're even then to make our legs we're gonna just kind of accordion fold this so just nice and tight folds all the way down you guys can do your folds a little bit bigger than mine if you want or you can go even smaller than mine Really, these are gonna, is, this is going to give our ladybug some pretty springy legs. All right, guys, so I'm finishing up my last leg here. And once we're done, we are going to glue these to the bottom of our ladybug. So, again, it doesn't matter which side. These are our legs, nice and springy. So we're just going to kind of flip our ladybug over here and just put our legs just one after another. Kind of get it down. There's one leg. Do another. Whoopsie. Two legs. Again, legs don't have to be perfectly placed. All right. Third leg on. And let's get our last right, guys. So my legs are on. I'm going to just flip them over and I'm just going to try and get these legs to lay flat really quick. Boom. So boom, our ladybug has legs. Isn't that adorable? So next, ladybugs have spots. So that's where our black construction paper is. So guys, how I like to make my dots or my circles is I'm going to cut out a rectangle. All right? So I've got my rectangle here. Boom. And I'm going to cut this into three somewhat equal rectangles again. So I'm going to give my ladybug three dots. I'm going to stack these together. And I'm going to make my circle by simply, if I can get these to line up a little bit, and I'm just gonna kind of cut them all at once. So I'm just gonna rotate around, making my circles. And this is because I like to have my circles and my dots all about the same size. So now I've got three dots that I can place on my ladybug. So get our glue again. Again, guys, make sure you guys have plenty of glue for this. You're gonna need a bunch. I'll put one there. And remember, when you're placing your dots, remember to uh, leave one side kind of open because you're going to need a face. Your ladybugs need, our ladybug needs a face. So I'll put one right there. And another one. Let's say, where are my legs? Let's see where my legs are facing. I'm going to use this as my front. So I'm going to place another one right there all right guys so we're starting to look more like a ladybug but we still don't have a face so i prepped this earlier and i made i went ahead and i made my eyes already so same thing i did the same thing i cut out a rectangle out of my white piece of paper and then cut it in half so and then i made my circles just like i did there i put the two pieces of paper together and i just made my circle and then I did the same thing with my black again in a different corner. Another smaller rectangle, two smaller circles, glued them together, and that's how I got my eyes. So now I'm going to glue these on to my ladybug, and he will be complete. Whoops. Get a little glue on the table. So boom. Stick one on that one right there. And then, my ladybug doesn't want to stand up. He's a little tired. 
Should have made it with his eyes closed. And then I'll stick one on the one next to it right there. And so guys, that is my ladybug right there. So guys, that is our week one camp craft, our camp kickoff craft. Okay guys, hey, we are now gonna do our science experiment and for camp kickoff, we are gonna bust up a rocket and it's stuff that you can all find at home, hopefully, um, so you can make a um, rocket at home. So what you will need is you will need baking soda as one of your ingredients. You will need vinegar as one of your ingredients. And then you will also need a water bottle that is empty. And then a cork. We did a cork that we kind of wrapped in duct tape because it's got to be something that can fit inside of your water bottle top that will come out pretty easy. So it can't be the actual lid. So you could use a rubber stopper if you had it or this cork works pretty well. So it's in there. So it has room to pop out when the rocket goes off. You will also need three different types of or three pencils that are the same size preferably unsharpened, that way you know they're the same size. And then you'll need some very strong tape uh, to tape uh, your pencils onto your water bottle so it can go up and stand up straight. So the first step that we're going to do is we are going to tape on our pencils. So what you'll need, and then, so I'll go edit here because I will stop there. The first step we're gonna do is tape off our pencils. So I, what do we do? I'm going to tape one. So then... to begin taping your pencils on, what you need to start with is about 12 inches of your strong tape. Now that can be duct tape, it could be electrical tape, um, but it needs to be something that's pretty strong that those pencils will hold on to that water bottle. So as you can see, Nick is starting to tape our pencils onto our water bottle. And so remember, your rocket, the bottom of the rocket is going to be where your cap is. So you need to make sure that your pencils come off a nice bit amount off of the top of that. So it, what it's gonna do is it's gonna create a stand for your rocket to go up from. So now it's pretty important that you make sure your pencils are pretty close to even because you don't want your rocket to be wibbly wobbly. You want it to be pretty steady when you set it down so it's nice and flat. So I'll probably pause this and clip this out. Mm -hmm. Hard part is getting the tape. I'm not crushing the bottle. Yeah. Okay, so Nick has got all three of our pencils attached to our water bottle, and let's kind of see what that looks like when the water bottle is standing, when the rocket is standing up. So you'll see he's got those pencils sticking off where the lid goes. So let's set it upside down and see how even Nick got our pencils today. He did a pretty good job. That's pretty even. He did a pretty good job. So that's what you want that to look like. Now that's that step. So now what you're going to do is if you have a funnel at home, you're going to pour some of your vinegar. Where'd our vinegar go? Here it is. You're going to pour vinegar about halfway full of that water bottle um, and fill it up about halfway. If you have a funnel at home, that's awesome. Use the funnel. If not, maybe uh, pour it over a sink. So if you should spill any, it can go into the sink. And definitely make sure with this project, this science project, that you definitely have an adult helping you because it is going to create kind of a pop when the baking soda interacts with the vinegar. So... Nick's still making sure it's about perfect here. It's pretty good, Nick. I think it's pretty good. It's perfect. Okay, so now we're going to put our vinegar into our bottle, and we're going to fill that bottle up again about halfway. So while Nick's filling that vinegar up, I am going to start prepping up our baking soda. So what you want to do is you want to take a paper towel at home, if you have a regular old paper towel, and a lot of the paper towels that we have are what we call two-ply paper towels. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your paper towel and rub one of the corners and you're going to try to separate out that paper towel into two different very, very, very thin pieces. 
Now, because we're at the community center, we don't have normal paper towels. We have just the paper towels that go into our holders. And so I did not split that out because it's a single ply. So what you'll do is you'll take a spoon and you'll spoon about a teaspoon of baking soda into the middle of your paper towel. You'll then take your paper towel and you're gonna kind of make a nice tight circular little piece that'll fit down into that water bottle, okay? Once you've got that ready to go, it's now time to move out. All right guys, so we're outside and it's time for blast off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set our bottle down. First things first, you gotta put your baking soda in first and then you gotta cork it quickly after. Once I've done that, I just gotta flip it over on our stands and hopefully the lock, rocket will go up. So here, we, here goes nothing. Get it in. Nope, it's not gonna go. You can hear it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, All right. Way better than what we were expecting. That's awesome. So, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was an awesome science project, awesome chemical reaction that you guys get to see. Try this at home with a parent. All right, guys, so on our last activity, we're on our camp game for camp kickoff week. Uh, so what we're doing today is very simple. It's something easy you guys can do at home. On the sidewalk, we are doing a sidewalk obstacle course. All you need for this is creativity, imagination, and some sidewalk chalk, of course. So again, you guys can create whatever kind of obstacles you want. Here's what we did. Gene's gonna show you really quick in the camera. You're obviously not gonna be able to see all the way down there, but don't worry, guys. I'm gonna run you through it. So here, guys, is our obstacle course. So I've got our start line here. We go right into a hopscotch, so boom. Balance beam, one foot in front of the other. And guys, the way to, the way to make this fun is to maybe race your sibling or find a friend and see how fast you guys can get this done. So follow it in our whirlpool. Or if you're mean, you like food, our cinnamon roll. Nice. Oh, wow, I'm getting dizzy. I'm getting dizzy. Feet are too big. All right, we complete it. Woo, we're gonna hop out of it. Here we go. One foot hop. Into our next foot. The bear crawl. So boom, boom, boom. Oh, this is a bad bear crawl, guys. Woo, bunny hop. Into our dance move finish, throwing it old school. Sprinkler champion, champion guys. Finished our obstacle course, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you had a first good uh, week of summer in our camp kickoff week, um, virtual obviously. But guys, have fun, stay safe this summer, and we'll see you guys next week with more arts and crafts, science projects, and outdoor games. Baby!